The Young Bucks made that call to the bullpen. I'm coming in to help finish the job. Don't worry, I got it, guys. I'm here. Everything's all right now. Welcome to the world of Jones Nose. It's Nuvelli waterproof vinyl flooring time. Today on Jones Nose. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors. Hi, if you're new to the channel, my name is Tim. I'm a flooring stair contractor, and today I'm out at one of my job sites where we just got done installing over a thousand feet of waterproof vinyl flooring. So let's take a look at it. So we did all the living areas and one bathroom and office in this home. I love, love, love this product because of the wide plank. And the color, not white, not gray. It's kind of in between a gray and white. It's got a nice mixture of lighter and darker boards, which is really nice. And my client has really gorgeous tile underneath this floor. Problem is, it is pure white. Let's run a video of the tile. And we're going right over the top of the ceramic tile. They have this beautiful tile, but it's impossible to keep clean. So now we're gonna cover it right up. Well, that's the tile and they just could not keep it clean. So we just went right over the top of it. We covered it up, two day job. Could have done it in one. We had to leave early. Uh, the neighborhood makes you leave around four o'clock. So we came back the second day and wrapped it up. Now I'm out here today because we just had to cut a bunch of pocket doors. That is the problem sometimes when you go over the top of a tile, you do create height differences. Now this is really cool. We also had to cut this door here in this cabinet. Yes, it is a cabinet. You see that? Wow, we cut the bottom of this door with my track saw, and it did an awesome job. And this area here, it is a wine room, basically, with a glass door. And there's a dehumidifier or a humidor in there for cigars, tobacco and stuff as well. But the real challenge here was making sure that this door would still open, because we don't normally cut doors, we definitely don't cut glass doors. By taking the underlayment off the bottom of this floor, we were able to make the door fit. Now, believe it or not, one of my favorite things about this job was the quarter round. Yep, I said it, the quarter round. Can you believe it? But it wasn't your standard everyday quarter round. Let me explain why. So what did we do? We did a matching square quarter round. How about that? That's awesome. That's door stuff. That's what goes in the door jam and stops your door from opening and closing all the way. We also use that as base. Now this floor is really nice, but what I really, really like about it is the fact that it is not going to show wear and dirt and everything like the white tile they had underneath here. It's still a light color, but it's going to hide a lot more. They like to have guests, they have pets, they entertain. So this floor is going to fit their needs. Now my client already told me that he absolutely has lived on this floor for a week and he absolutely loves it. He said of all the home improvement he's done in his house, this is his favorite thing. This floor met his expectation, it exceeded it, and then some, and it made the house look amazing. It really finished it off. The white tile was nice, but it was cold. It didn't have any character. This just blends in nicely with everything. Look at this wall here with the fireplace. Isn't that awesome? This wall was really important to my customer. Let's hear what she has to say about the wall and her new floor. You did a great job. Thank you. I'm glad we got it done in a good amount of fast really, time for you too. So you really, it's, it's it looks beautiful when you come in. You can't. I mean, it. I I was so stressed. I know you were. I know. Times I went to call you to say, I, oh, I made a mistake. I, with the color. Oh, I know you're worried about, but I wouldn't let you put a color that wasn't going to look good in here either. Because I, so I don't want I don't want to hear you like say you hate it. Because so. you know, I kept comparing it to this wall. I think the, the, the stone. That and is, I didn't think it matched. That's but perfect. Now I mean, when that's it's like down, perfect. It's Open the door for you, I mean, that literally is like perfect. I don't think I could have put anything in, it, in here that would have looked any better. Right. I mean, this is I, as good as it gets. Right. Hey, and you're, and you're feeling better today. That's what really well, counts. He was in that oxygen I can't believe that. I really can't believe that. Man, we are all done. Another one bites the dust. This is New Bellies. Oak Abyss, and it is a really stunning wide plank, waterproof vinyl flooring. We cut it tight with no thresholds across the back and the 
sides where all the sliders are. What did we also cut? We cut this. This is an island wall. Yep, believe it or not, that was no fun to cut. That's big. It actually Velcros off. And my favorite, not my favorite, being sarcastic, we did two, not one, but two glass pocket doors. I'm not going to pull the other one out, but we did two. We just cut them today, and that's why we're back here. But it's worth coming back to see the house cleaned up, put back together, and my floor looking amazing. This is picture perfect. This is like out of a magazine. This house is decorated beautifully. This is a show place. It's on the golf course. We're in Boca. This house has all the bells and whistles, and now it has the right floor to finish it off the way it should have been the first time. It's, it's a shame that my client had a spend so much money on tile, then so much money cleaning that tile. He's got a brand new tile floor underneath of this. Brand new, absolutely new, but we had to cover it up because they couldn't bear, bear cleaning it every day. This is Nuvelli Oak Abyss Wide Plank Waterproof Vinyl Flooring at its best. One of my top five colors for this year. Wow, if you enjoyed that and you really want to help support our channel, please like, share, and of course, if you already haven't, subscribe. We also have a PayPal link below. We're trying to get some better camera and audio equipment, so check out that button below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to check out some of our other content. We have lots of great videos on how to install wood, laminate, and vinyl floors, plus my favorite product reviews. I review wood, laminate, and vinyl, and I even put them head to head. I run them over, I dunk them, I submerge them, and do whatever it takes to find out which these floors are best for you. If you haven't subscribed yet, I want you to take out your favorite floor and mallet. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. And thanks for watching. Wow, that is awesome. I wonder what hatched out of these. They're like dinosaur eggs, right? What? Waterproof vinyl flooring and dinosaur eggs. What a combination. Would you pass the gray coupon? Honey, this is, this is an angry apple that was flattened. Speaks for itself. Hmm. All right. Let's shut it down. We're out of here. No, I got to figure out turn all the lights off. Boy. I would get tired just pushing all the light switches every day. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think I pushed that one twice. Fuck with this one. I can't figure out how to work the crystal ball. Oh, nailed it with the old fashioned switch. How about that? Gotcha. Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. What was that from? Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. Cha cha. I have one golf cart when you can have two. His and hers. Oh yeah. I'll take the sports car golf cart. It wouldn't be me. Where do you get pulled over for speeding in a golf cart? Oh yeah.